So I've started with that London Atmosphere train station sound. The plugin shows you already the whole orchestra. Hey guys, Michael here again. Today I would like to present you this little track I made with only three plugins that you could get right now. Let's get right into it. But before we go, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell icon. That encourages me a lot to create more of these videos. Let's go. Alright, let's take a look at our first plugin. It's Labs from Spitfire Audio. Its user interface is pretty much straightforward. You have here some stats. You can tune the channel up and down. You can pan it left and right. You have here the master volume. And you can find a drop down arrow so you can browse other presets and audition them on the fly. And you have two faders here. Here's an expression fader and a dynamics fader. An expression fader is pretty much the volume of the instrument being used and the dynamics fader controls the transition between different recorded samples from the same instrument. Let's take a look here, for example, with the guitars. And you have that wheel for more internal controls. You can click it here. You can find the reverb, ADSR, and many other things. You can control like this. And it varies from an instrument to another. But the instruments are really beautiful. Let's explore more and take a look at the track we wrote. So I've started with that London Atmosphere train station sound. I thought it would be a nice way to set the mood of the track and everything. I kept a little bit from the reverb because I've added mine anyway, which is Valhalla Supermassive. And it's an insane plugin. Here's with the reverb. Without. So it creates that ambience, that space. I've used a piano preset, some piano pad patch here. Let's take a listen to it. Also some Valhalla Supermassive and EQ. I cut the lows as usual and a bit from the mids. And then I wanted some acoustic piano to build my chord progression. Here's how it sounds like. So it's a very basic chord progression. I've used A minor, F major, D minor, A minor again. And for the second repetition, I've added a little bit of notes as a like a lead or something. Just not that it's the same thing over and over again for that part at least is how it sounds like. And I've made sure that not every keystroke is exactly on the grid because this is not how people play the piano. If they're actually playing it, not everything is going to be exactly on the grid. And I've varied a bit with the velocity because not each keystroke is exactly the same unless a robot is playing, which is not what we are aiming for, for that piece of music. And then I found this nice sustained choir that I've used. And I've also used the dynamic fader from it. And I've added some reverb from Dragonfly Room. I cut a bit with the EQ. Let's listen to it without processing. And I wanted to add more ambience to it. That's why I added a little bit of that reverb.
And then I layer my choir with some synthetic choir with a preset called Fern, I guess. I've used some EQ. I cut the lows and a lot from the mids as well. And I used Fruity Reverb and I added more wetness. Is without processing. With. And then I've wanted some dreamy effect. I've used those bells and I turned off the internal reverb because I've used Valhalla Supermassive again. Here's how they sound like. A bit of EQ, sound goodizer, tweaked a little bit, not too much. And here's how it sounds like without any processing. You notice it still keeps on going and that's because of its release time. It's too much. And here's without any processing at all. You notice that it keeps on going and that's because of the release time. And then I've wanted something to give a little bit of a melody. So I've used that Vox Humana patch. I've used only some EQ and a bit of sound goodizer. And then I needed something to create more depth and flavor. And I couldn't help but use that tremolo guitar patch. As a person who sometimes listens to post rock and appreciates it, I couldn't help myself. And here's how it sounds like. And for the processing, I only have EQ and Valhalla Supermassive. And for my low end, of course, I use some sub bass. Never forget the sub bass. Nothing crazy with the processing, just a bit of EQ for the low end here. And a limiter for sidechain purposes. I will let you know in a minute. And for the next part, I wanted something more melodic, more in the foreground. So I've used that peel guitar patch. So I cut the low end with the EQ. I added some OTT for more presence, not too much. And same with Valhalla Supermassive, I added some reverb, but not too much reverb because I want this instrument to be in your face. I want it to be the lead instrument, so to speak. And I've added some delay with that plugin, Classic Delay, one of my favorite delays, by the way. But I've automated it, not that it gets muddy. Let me show you with the automation and without. And now without automation. So 
So without automating the delay, it gets a bit too exaggerated and that's not what I was aiming for. I want to tell you about this great plugin instrument from Spitfire Audio. It's called the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. You can grab it from spitfireaudio.com or you can optionally buy it for 49 euros. The plugin shows you already the whole orchestra. You have your violins and you have the basses and trumpets and brass, some percussion and so on. And you can play them in different articulations with those key switches here, which is pretty cool. And just like labs, it has this. And you can control the amount of reverb and of course the expression and the dynamics. But I can't stress enough how important key switches are, especially for orchestral instruments. So with the violins, you can play sustained long notes like this. Or you can play short notes, spiccatos. Or pizzicatos, which are plucked like this. Or tremolo, which are played this way. So for our composition here, I played violins one, just normal sustained notes. Here's the key switch here. And in the end, I switched to tremolos. And here's how they sound like. And here's the tremolo part. And of course, don't forget the dynamics so that your violins sound as human as possible. And I added a violins to a line. And for our, our violins, I didn't do anything. I just added some EQ. I got a lot of the lows and the mids and a little bit of delay, which is not totally mixed as you can see here. And I made the feedback very low. And for the second violins, almost the same, just cut the highs so I leave room for other things to play. And then for the basses, I played them in pizzicato form. Is how they sound like. And for those, I cut a lot of the high end and a bit from the mids. And I used some compressor with high attack, so I keep some of that snap. And I've added some horns. I played a bit with the dynamics, as you can see here. And I added some reverb, but I've automated it, not that it's all over the place. Let's listen to it. And then I've added some flutes to add more emotions. And as usual, some EQ and delay. And for the percussion, we don't need anything insane. It's a very minimal soundtrack. Just a bit of sprinkles here and there to give some flavor, I would say. So I've used this crash from the same library. And then I froze it so I can control it better as the wave file. Then as MIDI, I can see it better. And then I normalized it. I didn't do anything crazy. And then I copied it and I reversed it. And on the reverse crash, I add some reverb. And a bit of EQ, of course. So we have in the end this effect. And I use the gong for the transitions. And then for the last part, I added some timpani hits. They sound like that. And I changed the synth bass to play more frequently and not just one like this, but, but to play twice. And I side chained it with the timpanis. And this is how I made it. 
So I changed the sub base to play more frequently, not just one time here, but twice. So it's together with the timpani. And I use the sidechain compression, not that they both clash to together because both are in the low end register. So this is how I did it. I went to the timpanis, I went here and I sidechained it to this track. You said you can't see the menu, but go to timpani and then right click this knob here, that arrow you will find sidechain to this track. You can click it, then you go to sub bass, you can add a footy limiter, and then you go to compression. It's usually like this. You just click on comp, sidechain, right click, and you choose, you will find timpanis or whatever thing you want to sidechain. But this is how I did it with timpanis. And I set the threshold and the knees, the ratio, attack, release. So this is how they sound like together. So you can see whenever a hit happens, some ducking on the bass happens. So whenever the timpani hits, the bass goes down and so on. Last but not least, I added this Kalimba sample from pianobook.co.uk, which is run by Christian Hansen, the co-founder of Spitfire Audio. The website is full of samples, contact libraries, and many more things created by the community of composers and sound designers. So I added this Kalimba for more color, and I think it helped with the intro here. Let's listen to it. So if you combine it with the first note here, the piano. So that Kalimba sample is in B and I needed to pitch it down a bit so I can use it with my track because my track is in key of A. And for that, I use that tool G-Tune, which is free as usual. So G-Tune is a lifesaver. It helps me a lot with samples. I don't know in which key they are, so I can pitch them down to my project. That's Check it out. Now you see it's in A because I have it, but if I reset it, this is the original sample sound. It's in B, so I keep on doing that with the pitch. And we have it again. This track is purely made by instruments from British manufacturers. So I decided to stick to the English theme and call it London Reverie. The atmosphere gave me the whole feeling of someone daydreaming in a train station in London. And then they slowly get back to reality. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to comment, share it with your friends, subscribe, ring the bell icon, so you can stay up to date with my uploads. I will try to stay consistent as much as I can. And now I leave you with the final result. See you.